Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the eight planets in the solar system. You should know this. However, some of you born prior to 2006 might remember Pluto being the ninth planet. The reason why it's no longer considered one is because this little organization called the IAU decided to redefine what a planet is. If you've seen my somewhat recent short, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'll just repeat the requirements here. 1. The object must orbit a star. 2. It must be big enough that its gravity makes itself round. And 3. Its orbit must be cleared of any objects similar in size. Pluto manages to complete the first two requirements, but not the last. Also, I should mention that the IAU found similar sized objects to Pluto in this region, the Kuiper Belt, so that's what sparked all of this. Anyway, here we go. Alright, let's get this one out of the way. Pluto. Pluto was discovered in February 1930 by Claude Tomba, an American astronomer who found the ninth planet while comparing some space photos and noticed an object moving across the backdrop of stars and figured out that it was a planet. The name for Pluto was actually given by an 11 year old girl named Venetia Burney, who was born in 1918. Fun fact did you know it takes Pluto 248 years to orbit the Sun? That means from the time it was discovered to the time it was demoted, Pluto is only 31% of its orbit. And if you want to continue going, it won't complete its orbit until 2178. Ceres is actually the only main dwarf planet to be located inside of the asteroid belt. It was discovered in 1801 by a Sicilian man when he was looking for some stars but saw Ceres instead. Its diameter is 952 kilometers, or roughly the distance between the city of London to the city of Copenhagen. Throughout its history, Ceres is called a planet, but also an asteroid. From the early 19th century to the late 19th century, various other planets were found and were called Pallas, Juno, and Vesta. With these, along with many more asteroids being found, their planet statuses got diminished into asteroid status. Except for Ceres, it still remained as a planet until 2006. If you have looked at an image of it, you might have noticed these white spots. Well, they're actually salt reservoirs, which are about 25 miles deep. And if you're wondering what the length, according to this NASA source, they wrote it down as hundreds of miles wide, which is not a proper answer. Jumping back to the Kuiper Belt, the next dwarf planet in line is Haumea. Haumea was discovered back in the early 2000s, and the first person to actually spot it remains controversial because both astronomers Michael E. Brown and Jose Ortiz claim that they were both the first. One thing you'll notice about Haumea is that it's oval-shaped. This is due to its fast rotation. An average day on the planet is simply four hours, or just under the time it would take to watch all three Swan Jump movies back to back. Are you crazy? I was just gonna tell you that your fire is down! A cool fact about Haumea is that it's the only known dwarf planet to have a ring system. Little is known about the rings, but they were discovered in 2017 as scientists watch Haumea pass in front of a distant star. Oh, and I guess it has two moons, Namaka and Hayaka, both named after Hawaiian gods. Namaka being the goddess of the sea, and Hayaka being the goddess of hula dancers, chant, sorcery, and medicine. The fourth dwarf planet from the sun is Maki Maki, and it was discovered in March 2005 by Michael Brown. Again. And it was given the designation of 2005 FY9, until it was later given the name of Maki Maki in July 2008. Maki Maki is located around 6.8 billion kilometers away from the sun, and has one moon, S2015-136472, or unofficially named MK2. Discovered in 2015, MK2 is the only discovered moon of Maki Maki, and is around 175 kilometers in diameter. The final dwarf planet in our solar system is Eris, and the discovery of this thing was the whole reason why Pluto got demoted in the first place. You see, back in January of 2005, our good old friend Michael E. Brown discovered Eris, but at the same time, it was given the nickname Zeneb after some sort of TV show character. It turned out that Eris was slightly smaller than Pluto, however, its mass was a bit larger. This would cause a few months of debate on what a planet actually is, and finally, in August of 2006, the IAU voted on a new definition, and that officially kicked Pluto out of the planet club. Also, it was at this point when the name Xena was changed to Eris, and its moon was changed to Dysnomia. Eris is named after the Greek god of Discord. No, not that one. Discord meaning disagreement. And Dysnomia, which means lawlessness, which also happens to be the daughter of Eris. I don't know if you picked up on this yet, but the majority of our planets and dwarf planets are named after various gods, and their moons are simply just the childs of those gods. I'll tell you there's just some of the dwarf planets, and there's actually a lot more, and some of them are just candidates. I was going to name them, but this video is getting too long, so I'll just play them in an end card. Alright, uh...